filmmaker Rajkumar Hirani said that he is not making the Sanjay Dutt biopic to publicize or promote the actor. I take a lot of time to make a film. I will never make a film to propagate a friend. When they told me about the film, I said that I don't understand this world till I actually heard a story. The first time he opened up and I heard a story, I found it very engaging. That's the only reason I'm going to make a film. I am going to show him as he is, said Hirani. Mr. Dutt was found guilty in 2013 of acquiring illegal weapons from those involved in the 1993 attacks in Mumbai. He was sentenced to six years in jail in 2007. Also, he served 18 months but was then out on bail fighting the conviction until a court ordered him back to jail in Pune in March 2013. The filmmaker said that Mr. Dutt's story is very intriguing. It has many elements. It is a father-son relationship. There is humor and pathos. I love great stories. So when I was writing something, this came on my lap and I thought it is such a great story, added Mr. Ehirani. Ranbir Kapoor will play lead role in the film. Mr. Hirani said that he chose Ranbir because he knows Mr. Dutt personally. We are showing Sanju's life from the time he was 17, so obviously Sanju can't play. We wanted an actor who looks like a star, is a good actor and who can gain weight and become like that. Ranbir is a fantastic actor. He has grown a lot and he knows Sanju as well, he said. The PK director said that Ranbir understands Mr. Dutt's life. He understands that world. It is always good to have an actor who believes in the film thematically. Ranbir is somebody who has grown in a film family and understands the pathos in his life, added Mr. Hirani. In the book titled Guns and Thighs, Varma describes Sri Devi as the goddess of beauty and why he cannot forgive her husband, Boni Kapoor. It was a love letter and I was going overboard. But that was my feeling. Everyone can have a crush on anyone, be it on a real person or a celebrity. You enjoy that feeling of high. It is almost like a drug. To see Sri Devi making tea in Boni Kapoor's kitchen was a huge letdown. I won't forgive him because he brought the angel down from the heaven to the kitchen of his apartment.